New Zealand television history will be made tomorrow morning. Two and a half hours of live news and information. The TV1 programs have been in rehearsal this past week. Here's a sneak preview of what to expect between 6.30 and 9 tomorrow morning. Laurie Mason reports. After months in the planning and years in the waiting, New Zealand Breakfast TV launches tomorrow morning. Two and a half hours of live news and information on one from 6.30. First up, we'll go to Wall Street, and using our magic graphics machine and the Reuters screen, we're live at the Dow Jones in the... Telstra Business is at 6.30, including a news update, and live graphics with international and local markets. Then... Mike Hosking and Susan Wood host two hours of breakfast, which has been in full rehearsals for a week. Breakfast news has been the missing link in the One Network News chain across the day, the coverage of the day. While New Zealanders are asleep, the rest of the world's awake, they're doing business, they're making deals, things are happening. We will have those stories first. We'll have them live to air. Today, a perfect example in rehearsal, we had Beatrice. We saw her face. We saw her win that gold medal in Athens. Fantastic stuff. The only way you can do that is by watching breakfast television. Live city shots as New Zealand wakes up, updated and expanded 3D weather for the whole country, daily traffic and travel information, interviews with top newsmakers, plus showbiz and sport. The wonderful thing about breakfast television is that unlike the radio, when the big things happen, you can see it, you listen to it. I think initially a lot of people won't uh, watch television, they'll listen to it, they'll keep their ear on it the same way they do with radio, but the moment something big happens, they'll want to watch it, and that's important. Liz Gunn joins the One Network News team with news on the half hour all morning. As we've been on air this morning, two Russian cosmonauts... The new programs mean One Network News is producing five bulletins weekdays from dawn through until tonight comes off air at 10 o'clock. The most comprehensive range of daily TV news in New Zealand history. Laura Lee Mason, One Network News. And on Breakfast tomorrow, an exclusive TV interview with Jacques Cousteau's son, Jean-Louis, in which he talks about his views on Sir Peter Blake succeeding his father. Next, Sport with Peter Williams. Right, thanks Tom. And uh, after the break, the All Black coach John Hart hints at changes for the next test.